Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Long War Legendary Armament playthrough with Operation Frost God. If there ever has been a Frost God, um, her name was not Elsa. Um, it's much crueler, much more sinister Frost God. Time for a light, moderate 18 enemies to get some intel, but more importantly, start liberating the region, which we really want to do. Can evac with a five turn cooldown, but we only got a SWAT of four people because the mission came in hot and heavy. Let's go, boys. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect oh, that's a very assistance. small map. That is a very small map. Moving to designated coordinates. I've got enemy movement here. And we got a couple of surveillance drones already oh and vipers hmm Good to go. moving up to the edge of where we could be And let's approach this whole scenario from here. I want to push into high ground. High ground actually would be up here. We don't have enough time to uh, to do an elaborate plan. Let's trigger these guys. Remove cover, kill them, and then rinse and repeat. Okay, since we have a five turn timer for evac, might as well pull, pull that now. Removing cover. Very good. I hope it's worth it. Fortify. And that should be an easy kill. Okay, full cover here. Yeah, and I don't want one poison spit to hit everyone. Let's drop control. Good, saw another pack inside. Saw another pack inside. Okay, hmm. My biggest concern is we're now pushing into an area where we have no cover. We got a little bit of high ground here, so I guess that's something. Really? <clears throat> Let's try to get the turret. Okay. 
hate to use run and gun for such a stupid situation, but I don't also want to be shot by the turret, right? Careful here, I don't know <clears throat> what's over there. Oh, we already called him in, yeah, never mind. Nah, no, that does not remove it. Alright, I'll risk it. Okay, good. That's a hundred percent chance to get her down. Got another turret there, which is a problem. Question is, do we trade a grenade for a turret and a better position? Might be worth it. We do have two grenades. This here would be an instant kill. Ah, not um, by thinking about it, not necessarily. Turret is more important. I hate standing in the open as such a bad situation. But I also want to save the grenade. Oh, it's minimum damage. Really bad position. I mean, that's obvious, but still wanted to mention it. <laughs> that seldomly happens. Lucky us. Good loot. We're getting close to the objective. I'm out of firepower over here. No problem, boss. Ninety-five percent shot misses. Okay. Don't want to push my luck too far. Okay, listen, I mean, we had our fair share of misses ourselves, so I'm no longer too concerned about the drone missing their shot, right? We need to move forward. This is dangerous, but I want to push forward. There's definitely one pack right at uh, the perimeter or at least close to it. <clears throat> a lot of it is also reinforcements coming in, but we're running out of time. So unfortunately we don't have the luxury of just taking too long. Does this your trigger? No. Does this your trigger? Okay, good enough for now. Now let's see what the reinforcements are going to look like. Oh, 
Oh, that's an advanced general. Or captain, rather. Wow, lots of brace shots. The guy needs uh, must have a lot of uh, dodge. If he is that nimble. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Let's replace that. Ooh. Oh. Oh yeah, fuse. Let's go. Free action now. Drive the trooper insane. Okay. I was hoping for mind control on the weakest guy. Guardian, 100% kill. Okay, let's see if this triggers. Okay, surprisingly enough not. I'll thank our little guardian angel for that and... We're finishing this one. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Roger that. Let's not dry, uh, push too, war, uh, too much into this direction. There might be a pack there. X -ray down. Okay, since we do have undying loyalty, I don't want to um, push my luck. Every single one of these goons could trigger undying loyalty Back in business. free reload uh, tell you what since no we're moving might as well kill this guy minimum damage of course Reload Overwatch and Arglide gets another Overwatch. Yeah, now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble, okay. Contact. X ray has got me flight. Come on, kill someone. No. Want a single? I've got eyes on Advent troops. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Okay, Bubble will take a bit of damage, I'm afraid. So we're going to mind merge. trigger I thought we would trigger but apparently not Here, let's try to remove as much cover as possible well we tried our best Bit of kill experience. Uh, I guess it'll be okay. Home. Yeah, we're just getting out of here. Well, 
That could have easily gone um, in a different way. We were lucky, but last pack that added, I mean, we, we ended the map with like nine active advent. Cool. So, Paladin does have a lot of options here. I'm just going for rapid fire. Clean, very, uh, very good. Death from above is good, but I must say Death from above one triggers maximum once, but that's still extra action, so it's fine. This here would be good because we're not having the option to ignore um, ignore fire, so that's not bad. And it gives us two mobility, which sometimes is uh, the difference between reaching the target or not. So Sam can either uh, rapid fire which together with chain shot and cyclic fire is just making him an absolute menace. Kill zone is cool as well. Very good. I like it. We could set that up. Uh, mm, trigger enemies. Sam is not part of the uh, Grey Knights, so he can't pick two of the abilities, which means I need to decide. Kill zone isn't bad at all. Utilize the squad side, even if uh, the yeah. Okay, it's a really good ability. I think we already have two really stable and steady sources of damage. Of course, Rupture is good as well. It's a fantastic shot, but Kill Zone does have its uh, utilities once we are uh, once we're triggering pots. Good. In this scenario here, we do have a lot of primary weapon damage lone wolf also for more weapon damage sting grenades are good i like them the 50 percent chance to stun an enemy is great we do have a lot of explosives so that's good as well a little bit more extra damage isn't bad this would one could make an argument that uh, mm, with a bit of chain shot, uh, Tarek could, could become a decent support. We'll likely not get 30 points for this, so the maximum we could get is Hail of Bullets, uh, which isn't really bad either. So question is sting grenades for crowd control or chain shot i think we're going for sting grenades just having that 50 percent chance to to stun isn't bad commander the media is a powerful tool just ask advent's propaganda machine i say it's time we turn it against them by spreading the word of our soldiers' exploits in combat, we can bolster morale throughout the resistance. One of your many good ideas, Bradford. Thank you for sharing them. Good. Down here, uh, we are now ready for the second, um, the second mission, or the second liberation mission. We're just having smash and grab. That's not bad. I think we. Australia. It's very reasonable to to go onto a smash and grab mission. Commander, you should be aware we're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant.
still tired. Um, Grey Knights are not ready yet. Uh, these would, uh, they would soon be ready. <clears throat> but we could do the Imperial Fists. And... Yeah, let's, let's try that. Give me a sec. Okay, ready, set, uh, go. I think the Imperial Fists are perfect for this mission. Um, we got Ataxia, that it, who is helping all of them to level up. And we got a good mission in order to do that. Just wondering, is there anyone that wants to level up as well? Hmm. Could get that one extra shinobi in. Now nah, we're just over infiltrating and we're fine. 16 to 18 is tough enough. So I might as well want to start uh, going with that team. Imperial Fists on their way. We have made a number of new discoveries, Commander. Although Advent clearly intended cool. to be Finally, melee weapons are getting an upgrade. I want uh, weapon for the weapon upgrades. And that would be the start for the liberation here. We've got five people. The question is, do we want to go in with 21 enemies or do we want to boost it? I think we're boosting it. It's more important to actually win that mission. We're down to 18 and we have a very, very nice infiltration. So that's going to happen the next time uh, when we return to XCOM, Long War of the Chosen. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you enjoy the content, leave a comment and a like down below. That helps a tremendous amount. And see you next time. Bye-bye.